Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Switch Live Garage with your boy Caleb. And today I'm actually going to be working on the prelude. Had a little bit of a situation go on and I want to go ahead and address and fix the problem. I know many of you guys have experienced the same thing. Even if it's not on a prelude or a Honda or maybe it's on a different car, I know you've probably seen or experienced the same thing. Also what I wanted to say is I'm still doing the $200 giveaway at this time. All you guys have to do is drop a comment down below on any of my videos before I hit 5,000 subscribers and I'll put your name in to win the $200. It could be a comment about anything really, a comment about the video or a comment on what you would spend the money on. Anything guys. But without taking any more time, let's get right into the video. We're going to be working on the prelude and I'm going to be working on the interior just because this kind of popped up. Uh, but I was expecting it to be honest. <laughs> Does this look familiar? I'm pretty sure you guys with the preludes, the cords, pretty much any car with the plastic handle, this is gonna look pretty familiar to ya. Um, you know, these are plastic, these are from the 90s, from the early 2000s, and so it does happen, you know, after so many uses, this is eventually gonna happen. They're made out of plastic with just some, I don't know, some chrome over it. If these break, you guys got to be careful because it will cut you. And so you got to make sure to cut all the little edges. If you guys have never been cut by chrome, it sucks. Um, I got a little towel here. I was cleaning the interior. And um, I was actually just cleaning it for this video. Because I don't want to show you on my dusty car. Here is the other piece. I was actually going to the gym and I was trying to open the door. And it just broke. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try fixing this. Like I said, I was already expecting this to happen eventually. And I got just the part. I don't know how long I've been having this part, but it's long overdue. And I don't know why I keep holding on to parts like this. Let me show you. Here is the handle, guys. These are aftermarket CNC aluminum handles. Um... I actually got it from this guy off of Instagram. It's pretty much how I found out about him uh, from Old Souls. Uh, I think they had posted something about him, but I followed him and he was making parts for the Del Sol. And I think this is the only part for the Accord slash Prelude. The handles from the, um, I don't know what generation it is, but around about the 2002, 2000, Accords they have the same handles and they're known for breaking as well. Check this out That is sick man This has like a clear anodized over it So it kind of gives it like a silver a matte silver look very nice You can still kind of see like the cuts and the aluminum itself There is the name right there know how well you guys can see it but it's from Skyler Labs that is his Instagram as well you guys go ahead and check him out uh, he has some Del Sol and some Prelude Accord um, parts I'm pretty sure he's going to keep making parts along the way uh, now these are to actually install it but it would be as if it was a rivet and these are Allen heads on top and in the bottom That's enough obsessing over those new handles. They're going to look very sick in here. I can already tell. Let's go ahead and take these off. It's very easy. You know, you just have this, take off this cover, and then you uncover the screw, take that out, pop it open, take off the latch and the wiring, uh, the connections, and then as well on the passenger side, and then we'll get to work. Here's the handle, it's fully taken off of the door panel. Um, I really need to take off the rivet that you guys see here that hold on the handle. And I do have a drill bit and a drill. 
It's kind of almost the perfect size, but it should be enough to take the, the rivet out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, we do have an inner spring in here that we will have to place in here when we put the new handles on, but that's not going to be the issue. The main thing is to take out this rivet and get these old handles out. All right, as you guys see here, it is completely taken off. If you guys saw, I was kind of holding the drill at an angle. It's because I was trying to get rid of that top crown. It was a little thick, but I got it a little thinner. And then I was able to just kind of squish it with the, uh, I got some electrical pliers. Um, but it was able to come out. Everything pulled out as it should. Here's the handle. I am going to need the little clip here for the rod, for that door rod. But this is what you want. I'm going to clean up the little crevices, um, you know, you don't get too many chances to actually clean all that or as tedious work, you know, whenever you're detailing. I am going to take out this other one as well. This is the driver's side, so it'll be sitting like that. And so it's all prepped up, ready to go and I have the new handle here already. It's supposed to sit in here just like that for the most part. And that looks pretty clean. So I gotta put the spring on and I gotta put on the pin. The pin does have Allens on both sides. Uh, I have the correct Allen size here already, but there's the little screw that goes with it. So don't wanna lose that. So here's the spring that is on the inside. Okay, so now the pin is through. Now I've just gotta set the actual spring on there. And then you just push it through. Right like that. And there it is right there. I tightened up the Allens and um, everything is in its position. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just a quality factor. Whenever you put your hand on it, you can already tell it's, it's pretty solid. Even though it's lightweight, it's pretty solid. Last thing gotta do is put on this little clip so we could connect the door rod. As you guys could tell, it looks very nice. I just gotta finish the passenger side and then we'll get on to installing them. All right, and there we have that one. That one was way faster now that I knew what I was doing. I didn't have to take off one of the screws on one side, you know, you could just obviously push it through. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. But as you guys see, it's installed very nicely. It's going to look very sick. So let's go ahead and get on to installing them. Alright guys, so they are fully installed and man, they actually make a difference in the feel of the of just opening the, the door just because they don't have any flex to them so it's just a straight pull and it feels really nice. Let me see if I can try to get some of this on camera. Now you won't really get the full effect on camera just because it is a feel type thing but let me show you guys. Just Okay, right there, you feel the resistance, tiny bit, and it's open. And if you open it real quick is when you feel the difference. It just has a nice, crisp feel to it, and it just feels like a newer car. And it looks very nice in the interior. They have that shape to them, that 3D shape. And just reminds me of the, like, the newer cars that are coming out. You know, they're starting to get a bit more um, 
in detail about all the little designs what have you overall it just looks very clean it stands out just because of that 3d shape you know it's not just a plain chrome door handle now gives an extra little style on the interior and here is the passenger side again guys check out Skyler Labs check out his product see what he has and uh, he may have the part you just need for your Del Sol Prelude and of course like I said he's probably coming up with new stuff so by the time you watch this video who knows what he has out All right guys, as you have seen it, I went ahead and replaced the interior door handles and it really makes a whole difference in the car. There's been a couple of times, you know, I've gone into the car and actually opened the door handle without even thinking. But I really do feel the crispness of the door opening and no flex in the handle. It really makes a difference and I really think this is a great product for you guys. Um, so if you want to go ahead and check it out as well, go ahead and check out Skyler Labs. If you want to check them on Instagram, I do know he does have a link onto his actual web page so he can go ahead and buy those parts uh, but let me know what you guys think as well drop a comment down below or if you have a question about it if you guys like this video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed make sure you have that bell notification turned on because I'm about to hit this thing and about to start uploading and I think you guys will be pretty interested on what I have going on alright guys that is going to be it for this video I really appreciate the views and all the subscribers that I have accumulated over this time and if you're a new subscriber I thank you for that as well but that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I still have the $200 giveaway going on. So make sure you are putting your name in for that by dropping a comment down below on one of my videos. All right, guys, I'm going to have to catch you on the next one. All right. <laughs>